being an artist and what does it mean to me? It's not really something that I've ever thought of because it's always just been a natural thing about what I do. It's like asking someone, I don't know, what's it like to be a human being? I don't know, it's a strange question for me because making things and and fiddling about with tools and it's just something that I've always done and always had an interest in. So I've been brought up a, with art galleries and artists and stuff. My dad had always worked in museums and art galleries in, in Victoria, in, in Australia. So I, I started my company. I worked for a company here for seven years um, on Hatton Garden. And that, that's influenced almost everything that I do now. Everything that I do is just a direct kickback against working in retail and working for jewellers that want to come across as like a, a posh luxury goods thing and it's just not me. But what quickly became apparent was that that attitude and that uh, aversion to a lot of the the things about the luxury goods market was a brand in itself. Um, to make that shift from doing trade work to private commission pieces, uh, you, you've got to put yourself out there. And so working with Creer, it just, if I didn't have a web presence, it just wouldn't happen. The whole thing was quite easy going, so I didn't bother looking anywhere else. Um, I've got no complaints. It's a bit embarrassing talking to Sean on the phone every two weeks or whatever when he calls me up because we basically just say, yeah, everything's going well. Uh, okay, speak to you in a couple of weeks. I'm consistently within the top three positions on an organic Google search for the keywords that we have targeted. So I did want to be selling, say, four engagement rings a month, and that's easily achieved now. It's obviously made differences because my, my company's just... I now, now I employ two members of staff, which... I wouldn't have even thought about three years ago.